Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has accused the United States, us, of supporting Kurdish militants. The allegations were made after Turkish authorities found the bodies of 13 Turkish personnel, police and civilians who were kidnapped by Kurdish rebels in cellars in northern Iraq. Erdogan attacked the U.S. State Department after hesitating to blame the Kurdish Workers' Party, PKK. You are with them and are behind them, Erdogan said as quoted by The Guardian, Tuesday, 16-2. Turkey and the U.S. both designate the PKK as a terrorist organization. But, in Syria, Washington also cooperates with Kurdish militias with connections in the PKK. If we are united in NATO and if we continue our alliance in NATO, you have to be sincere to us, Erdogan said. The Turkish Foreign Ministry said it was calling on United States, us, Ambassador David Satterfield to convey Turkey's displeasure in the strongest terms. The Turkish Foreign Ministry said Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu expressed displeasure at the U.S. statement recently in a telephone conversation with a Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The Turkish Foreign Ministry added that in the first Iran being Turkish as official conversation since President Joe Biden's government took office last month the two sides discussed their disagreements. But both parties agreed to develop a dialogue at the mutual respect that is open and sincere. A State Department spokesman Ned Price said Blinken expressed his condolences for the hostages' deaths. He was also reiterated the U.S. view that PKK terrorists are responsible. During the conversation Blinken also emphasized the mutual interests of the two NATO allies in fighting terrorism. After the conversation, Washington issued a new statement condemning the PKK directly for the hostages' deaths. The foreign minister expressed condolences for the deaths of the Turkish hostages in northern Iraq and reiterated our view that the PKK is responsible, Price said. The victims were found during a hostage release operation in the Gara region, Iraq, near the Turkish border. About 12 people were shot in the head and died from gunshot wounds to the shoulder. The 13 hostages were kidnapped inside Turkey during 2015 and 2016. Erdogan said, in the latest military operation about 51 PKK members were killed. He was also promised to suppress cross-border attacks. We have the strength, capability and determination to destroy terrorists anywhere, he said. In a statement, the PKK said they killed prisoners of war consisting of Turkish security and intelligence agents in response to Turkish airstrikes. The statement was reported by Firat News Agency which has PKK connections. The Turkish Defense Ministry said three Turkish troops were killed in the operation to free the hostages. Three troops were injured.